Hello. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about something um, I'm a little obsessed with, something I kind of feel like I know a fair amount about because I've used tons of different ones and blah, 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 and that is bronzers. Okay, I'm going to talk about three specific kinds of bronzers. This isn't like a review or anything, so I'm not going to, I mean, I'll link all the brands that I um, have that are still available below, but this isn't like a review, so, you know, you, use, you can use whatever you want. This is just three different types of bronzers I really want to talk about. Um, and so I'm going to start. This first one looks like this. Uh, well, you can see that. It's really, 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 really well used. This is your everyday bronzer. This is your work your workhorse bronzer, your um, ride so you die partner in crime bronzer. This is the one. This is a completely matte bronzer. Um, and what I would recommend for someone who's just put it this way so it doesn't look so weird for someone who's just um just starting out maybe isn't really experienced with makeup or hasn't really been using bronzer because a lot of people don't use it like most girls I know like in real life they don't use bronzer they just don't know anything about it they don't care about it they don't use it so if you just want to try it go with a matte bronzer also it's really hard to find a matte bronzer most bronzers have some sort of shimmer shine glitter something in them this is completely matte I will show you what it looks like it's really creamy see that swatch it for you right here really blends into my skin nicely so you can't see it that well see? really really nice bronzer okay and what you use a matte bronzer for this is like mul completely multi-purpose for me because I'm kind of um, not so fair. I have like kind of a tan skin tone in the summer. I don't like to change my foundation because I don't even usually really use foundation too much in the summer. So um, I will actually set my foundation with the bronzer, and it just kind of warms me up, and and I can use it all over because it's not that far from my skin tone. If you're super fair, obviously don't do that. But the other thing you use a matte bronzer for is for contouring. You know, when you suck in your cheeks and you take like a um, angled brush or like a powder brush and you swipe, swipe, swipe and it gives you that chiseled effect of like thinner, um, like a thinner face, you want to use a matte bronzer for that. If you use something shimmery, you know, it, you're supposed to be creating an illusion. If you use something really shimmery, it just looks weird, like a weird sparkly stripe on your face. The other thing you use this for is like just warming up your entire complexion, you know, on, the, on your temples, a little bit under your cheekbone, uh, a little bit across your what is that called? Your chin and your nose. And it just gives you that warm, like I just was at the beach for 20 minutes, look. And matte. Matte. Okay? All over. Matte. Next, we're going to talk about this bronzer here, which is one of my absolute favorites. It looks like this. Are we in frame? Yes, we are. This is beautiful. This is like a truly beautiful bronzer. I don't know if you can even tell how pretty this is from just looking at it. Hope you can. I will swatch that right here. It's right here. It's a little bit of a different shade. It's also quite shimmery. I don't know if you can tell that. And the undertones are like gold, like solid gold. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But I would never put this all over my face. What I use this for, um, and you can use all shimmery bronzers for this, is as a blush. It gives you a warm effect, but it, um, but it doesn't look like you have like a disco ball face, which you know that's how you would look if you brush this all over. It just gives you a pretty golden bronze look, but it's in the right place, and that's just right on the apples of your cheeks, and even blended out to your hairline, um, and it's pretty. And that's what this is for. That's why there's so much of this one, and not as much as the other one, because there's only specific uses for really sparkly bronzers. And most bronzers are sparkly, so I think there's a lot of people making this mistake out there. Um, and then the third kind I'm going to show you is this. Wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. There it is. Wait. There it is. And it is a liquid bronzer. Liquid bronzers are really, really cool. Um, they're really nice. And this is a nice one because it's actually not sparkly. I don't know if you can tell from the package. I don't know why I'm so bad at this. There we go. It's very shiny and like um, iridescent almost, but it's not sparkly at all. This is great, let me show it to you. Hold on. Looks like 
that, and I will put that on my arm. Okay, obviously you need to blend that, so this just looks weird, but I wanted to show it to you. Well, it's like, looks really reflective on the camera. You definitely would blend this in, you don't just leave it like that. And that's when I, what I was going to say is, um, blending a liquid bronzer, see that, it's really pretty. Blending a liquid bronzer, um, you can use your fingers, but you know, this isn't foundation, so it's not your color. It's not going to be the same color as you. So it only blends so well. I suggest using a, a brush, um, like even if you don't use a brush for your foundation, I would use a brush for, like, for a liquid bronzer or a gel bronzer. Because your fingers, you know, blend, but a brush will really buff it in and it'll apply it a little bit more soft. And um, since it's not your skin tone, you don't you know, you can't necessarily blend it enough with your fingers. With a brush, you can really get in there and it will really give you a prettier, almost airbrushed effect. I use liquid bronzer in the winter, because in the summer I'm a little more oily. I have pretty dry skin, but in the summer, you know, you get sweaty, you get oily, um, even if you're not usually like that. And this is a little bit too shiny. I end up just looking way, way too shiny. In the winter, though, when my skin is really dry and really, really dull, I like to use this. And I use it very much the same way I use this. Would never put either one of these all over my face because they're too shiny. This one's too shiny. This one's too shimmery. Um, but I will put this, like, starting on the apples of my cheeks and bringing it all the way up my cheekbone. Um, as like a blush and a highlight combination and it's just really pretty and you can see iridescent, iridescent <laughs> and golden and it still warms you up and it's still really really pretty and that's that okay so that's the three types of bronzers we have our number one everyone buy it a matte we have our number two this is probably the most common kind but this happens to be a really pretty color uh, and that is a shimmery bronzer and then we have our number three which is a liquid or even a gel bronzer is in the same category. So now I'm just going to tell you in closing my top four, four <laughs> uh, bronzer tips. I had five, but then when I put on the camera, I couldn't remember the fifth one. So we're going to do four. Number one, where are we? Number one, if you see a bronzer that's orangey, or orange tinted, or looks orange in the package, or you touch it and it looks orange on your finger, put it down and run. Do not buy an orange bronzer. I don't know why they make them. I don't know why anybody would want their skin to look orange. It's not cute. It looks fake. It looks tacky. Do not buy a, an orange bronzer. Just don't. And if you have one, throw it away. I'm sorry. Number two. If a bronzer has too much shimmer in it, you can use it. Um, but don't put it all over your face. Another use for a great, uh, another good use for a shimmery bronzer is put it like in this area, on your shoulders. Um, just you know, it's nice in the evening. It looks a little sexy, but don't put it all over your face. You'll look too shiny, too sparkly, funny, embarrassing. Like you'll embarrass yourself. Just don't do it. Number three, don't apply too much bronzer, especially if you're new to it. Use a soft touch. A little bit goes a long way. You can always apply more, but to take it off, you have to wash your whole face, and you know that's much more of a hassle. And number four, one, two, three, four. Um, don't be afraid to use bronzer in the winter. For some reason, a lot of people only wear it in the summer. I don't know why. It's pretty all year round. It it, it keeps you looking healthy and beachy and glowy and uh, warm all year. I mean, bronzer is my best friend in the winter. You know, it really is because it keeps me looking um, summery all year, which I love. So don't be afraid to use bronzer in the winter. That's my fourth tip, and that's that. So I will put links to everything that's still available below. But, you know, use what you have. This is just the, the types of bronzers I wanted to discuss. So that is all.